since he is thus the one knowledge, in all bosoms the same consciousness, just as everything is illumined in the daytime by the sunlight, so you can say that the sun is the one sole creature who sees everything that is happening in every drawing room at one and the same time, because it is in the sunlight that every drawing room is illumined. So sun is the one seer, S capital letter, of everything that is happening in the world. Is it not? In the same way. The consciousness in me, illumining my experiences, is the consciousness in you, illumining your experiences. But uh, Ramji, how can that be? The arrangement of the furniture and the furniture pieces and their arrangements in my drawing room is totally different from yours. The sun in your drawing room illumines your drawing room arrangements and he illumines in my drawing room my drawing room arrangements. So you can say that the sun is the knower of everything, seer of everything. In the same way, in my bosom, my physical, mental, intellectual experiences are shining out in the light of my consciousness. This consciousness itself is the consciousness in every living being. Naturally, he is the one who has been knowing everything that is happening everywhere. That is why he is called omniscient. No flicker of thought can come in your bosom without he shining it, shining upon it, or else you will not know that the thought has come. So there is no privacy. <laughs> I want privately thinking. God probably must be looking that side, so I can do it now. <laughs> sun is daytime, you say sun is looking that side? It isn't the sunlight that you do everything. Never can you ever do anything or feel or think anything without his shine. He is the knower of everything. Thus the teacher says, or Krishna says here, Vedaham Samatita. Everything that is past, I know. All your past experiences were experience, valid experience, because you are conscious of it. Vartamana Nicharjuna and Arjuna. Whatever that is happening right now in the whole universe, it is all shining in my life. Isn't it? The sun knows everything that has happened in the past in the world. Everything that is now happening everywhere, he is shining. Bhavishyani Chabhutan. In the future, whatever that happens in the world of plurality, how are people going to know? When they are conscious of Is not the same consciousness in the future also? Is going to know everything that is going to happen? Today, in the past, everything the sun illumined. Today, the sun is illumining everything. What about the future? The same sunlight will illumine. Thus, I know everything that has been passed in the, I mean, that has gone in the past, happened in the past. I know what is happening today. And it will be I who will be knowing all that is going to happen in the future at all times. That's how I know everything. But the only sorrow of God is nobody knows me. <laughs> I know everything, everybody, past, present, and future. But no one can know me. Because this one, the perceiver, feeler, thinker, can only perceive. Feel and think through BMI, and through BMI, you can see only, very efficiently, only the world of objects, emotions, and thoughts. You cannot see behind. <laughs> Keep a mirror on your veranda and watch through the window. A bird may come there, and the bird sees another bird. They are not like human beings, but they are very loving each other. So that stupid bird sit there and start kissing the mirror. 
and he feels that ah the other bird, other bird also is returning my love and now the poor thing becomes as sensuous as you now he wants to rub the body shoulder to shoulder with the other bird here does it know he wants to meet the bird therefore the poor fool goes behind the mirror to see to contact the bird when he goes there he becomes desperate the poor bird why the bird is gone <laughs> comes back and looks and it is there thank god it is at least there hey that the bird forgets food forgets everything will be there for hours together as any one of you 75 years still you don't leave it why right? thinking that from oet i will get happiness 90 years ask your grandfather papa are you ready to go oh yeah not now boy that the great grandson's marriage also i want to see <laughs> nobody wants to go just as that stupid bird not knowing that it is a reflection he wants to contact it and therefore goes round and round courting that image you and i are also courting the images of the reality not turning to the reality everything i know but nobody knows me that is my tragedy when nobody can know you because it is behind the mirror all that the equipment can see is only that which is in front of it that which is behind the mirror you cannot see you have to remove the mirror stop all reflections and see to find out what lies behind the mirror